Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, ah. What? More? You need more space? Uh, you see how there's like that little spot here? I, I, I'm on, I'm, it's on an angle, so I can't see, quite see the screen as well as you can. Okay, scoot over? I can scoot over. And you're good. Good, good. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go right here. Filming, go. We're already filming, aren't we? Mm -hmm. God damn it. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mahia Shanyo and today I'm here with my boyfriend and we're doing something fun. We're doing a mysterious thing that has been thrust upon me. Yeah, he was coming over and I asked him if he'd be okay with filming a video with me and he just said yes without knowing what I was planning on doing. That's a really bad thing to do. It's an important thing to do when you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Tip number one, dating. Always say yes to things you don't know what they are. That seems like some dubious advice. Or good advice. So we are doing the Try Baby Food Challenge video. I've seen these a little while. I've seen these on... I forgot the internet site that I upload these things on to, YouTube. We, I've seen these on YouTube a couple of times and I thought they were fun. And considering I am recovering from oral surgery that I had about three days ago, baby food's kind of within my element of food that I can actually ingest. So, I want some lunch and we're gonna be trying some baby food at the same time. Are you scared? Yeah, well, I don't know, words. I mean, two of them that I picked out are kind of really funky flavors. I don't know how the, the foods that they decided to shove together go together, but we'll, we'll get to that. Where did they put the spoons? The spoons. Okay. We've got two spoons and two bowls. Uh, because the two pouches, I can't actually suck them because stitches. Right. Yeah. So those are for me. Okay. How's it going right there? <laughs> How's it going? How's it going right there? There you go. Right there. Thank you. All right. You have the honors of picking the first thing that we put in our mouths. All right. Rule number two. When you're going with food, always start with red. This is raspberry. Okay. We're going with red. And I'm making her laugh. Out of all of the things you could have picked, you picked raspberry, spinach, and Greek yogurt. Look, raspberry, it's good for you. Spinach, also good for you. Greek yogurt, it's trending. Go for the Greek yogurt. Here, uh, you open that? Because it's in a pouch. Does it smell good? It smells like nothing. Uh, no, it does smell like something. It does not smell like spinach. It's getting everywhere. What? Raspberries rule number, th rule number three, don't squeeze unless you're pointing in a bowl. <laughs> that, that's, oh god. That's that's your, it's your lunch, you gotta eat up. You, you're, you're taking spoon too. Yeah. That's not enough. Oh. I'm not looking that one up. <laughs> Alright, we're doing this. Fine cuisine right here. I do taste the raspberry. Rule number four, I do not recommend spinach and raspberry together. Mm. Not in the same mouthful. The poor baby that has to be forced to eat this, oh my god. All I taste is raspberry. Like, you mostly taste the raspberry, but you, but it doesn't taste like pure raspberry. You, ta you taste a bit of the spinach, so it just feels like something's a little bit off. Mm-hmm. But not so off that you wouldn't eat it. Okay. I'm picking the next one. You chose. What is it? <clears throat> cream corn. Oh. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Apparently, I loved cream corn as a baby. <coughs> it smells like corn. It's got a nice little bit of water separated at the beginning, so that's how you know it's going to be a grand time. Oh, and it's thick. Wow. I only bought Heineken's. Um, that's Heinz. Heinz. Because that's all apparently they if, sell. If you were feeding your baby Heinekens, you, you would not have be a good parent. <laughs> Rule number five, don't don't feed your baby Heinekens. Okay. <laughs> Spoon up. Oh, man. Okay, go. Oh my god, that's wild. I kinda like it. I'm gonna get through this, but I'm not gonna enjoy it. Mm. I'm not enjoying it. Mm. 
you already had three of those? Huh? How many of those have you already had? That was just my second spoon. Oh. Now my third. Apparently I still like cream corn. Alright, but you can have all that. Okay. You can have all that. We got carrots. Oh. There's gonna be a trend. Well. Most least, of these are vegetables. At least, I, well, I do like carrots more than cream corn. In the last three days, there's been a huge lack of vegetables in my diet. That looks remarkably more like watery. Also, it does not smell like anything. Oh, oh wow, that is a lot more watery. All right. Ready? Bottoms up. Mm-hmm. That does not taste like carrot. I want to say it tastes. It tastes kind of like a like squash. I was gonna say like a like a like a like a vegetable juice kind of flavor. Yeah, does not taste like carrot. It tastes like vegetable juice, but like without the tomato. So it just feels like it's trying to be vegetable juice, but not quite succeeding. Ingredients: carrots and water. Apparently, it says do not feed directly from container as baby saliva may cause food to become watery. Well, is, is this a secondhand food container? No, this was did, old, did you but get, new. Did you get this at the secondhand baby store? No. You got it at the secondhand baby store. I do not. That's why it's so watery. No. Trip. Okay, now you just playing with your food. Yeah, yeah. Now you're playing with some baby's food. It's my food, I need, I need vegetables right now. Can't eat vegetables. It still doesn't taste like carrots. That's highly disappointing. Mm, let's go with butternut squash. Hmm. That sounds very liquidy. It's the only, only one so far you've shaken. I, I yeah, sorry. Yeah, it smells like butternut. Mm. No. I like butternut squash, but this does does not taste good. No, it's a no. It's too bitter. Butternut squash isn't supposed to be bitter. Ew. Gross. <clears throat> Choosing this one because it's the only one that's in a different container than what we have, and it is strained blueberries. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a dessert. Maybe we should save this for later. Well, yeah, let's save it for we'll last. Save, we'll save this one for last. We'll come back to this one. Apple and broccoli. The, that's, a, that's a really weird mix, but I guess we're going with this one. I think it's better than spinach, raspberries, and Greek yogurt. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Whoa. It is. I mean, I like broccoli, but something about okay, the way it smells in weird liquid form. Oh. That did mm. Holy crap, that does not smell appetizing. It's actually pretty sweet. It's not that bad. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Yeah. It's just, it smell it smells really broccoli, but tastes very apple-y. You smell broccoli? I smell this weird combination of putrid apple. No, I smell I smell broccoli. Hmm. I, th I think we just have broccoli at our house more than you do. Yeah, it's not that bad. Can you I get, have more? You want more? Yeah, it's, it's more. App. It's really sweet. Apple and broccoli recommend, in, mm -hmm. unless you're really sensitive to smell. You want to grab the not dessert one? All right, we'll grab this one is green beans, or if you're French, haricot vert. Haricot. Some vert haricots. Oh, that smells horrible. Mm, I mean, it just smells like green beans, but I'm not looking forward to the liquidiness. It smells like swamp water. Yeah. If that's what swamp water smells like, I want to hang out in those swamps, because that just smells like delicious green beans. Ah. Ready for this? Nope. Hmm. It is more bitter than I thought it would be. Oh. I have to say, it tastes exactly like green beans, and I usually like green beans, but what's throwing me off is the liquid consistency. I'm expecting a crunchy thing when I taste it, and then I get like this galupinous mm. mess. Oh no, no, no! I'm not having another. Yeah. One. <laughs> it's okay. We've 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 done our trials, our six trials, 
It's time, it's, it's time to hunker down for the dessert. I have high hopes for that one. You can't go wrong with blueberries. God, please don't go wrong with blueberries. I don't know, do you, have you had strained blueberries? I mean, that's just without pulp or seeds. It can't taste bad. That's a lot of packaging. Look at it jiggle. Look at it jiggle. Is it jello? Oh my god, it's like this jello. It's, it's kind of gooey. Kind of. Show, show that to the camera. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it dance. That is some trippy baby food. Alright, you ready for this? Oh <laughs> god. It smells like blueberries. It's a plus. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you gonna survive? What is your verdict on the on the dessert? It's like snot! How much, how much snot have you been eating, girl? <laughs> it's like mucusy. Oh! I actually find this is like the best texture of the of the seven things we've had. Then you can have it. All right then. That was just like a lot of slime goop, like tasteless slime. Tasteless. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's got a flavor, girl. It's barely there. Yeah. Have fun with your blueberries. And that brings us to an end of our or several baby food <coughs> challenges where in which we discover that baby food brings out the baby in all of us because we don't want to eat any of it. That is very true. Maybe that's why babies don't want to eat any of the food that we give them. Because it all tastes like crap. Except for the broccoli apple one that was Yeah, good. that one was really good. Yeah, let's get you some more broccoli <coughs> apple. Go get your bowl. So that is us trying baby food. I actually have some things to eat now, which is always good because when you have mouth surgery, uh, your food options go way, way, way down. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you like what you see on my channel, then think about subscribing so that you can see more in the future. And as always, my name is Maria Chagnol and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! I should go make it dance for them again. I'll make it dance for them. I'll make it dance. Oh yeah. Okay, no, we're cutting that. That's stupid. That was good.